Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. Tonight, with that terrible tragedy following a high school football scrimmage in Roxboro, a 14-year-old boy is dead. Four other teens injured in ambush outside Roxboro High School. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sheba Russell. I'm Jason Martinez. We know three schools were playing in this football scrimmage this afternoon when it happened, and police believe all five victims were members of the Roxboro football team. Our Chris O'Connell's at the scene, but first, Seanette Wilson is at Einstein Hospital, where the victims there were taken. Seanette. Well, Jason and Sheba, three of the victims, as you mentioned, were brought here to Einstein Hospital. One of them, a 14-year-old, has died. We do know another teen was taken to Temple, and a fifth victim suffered a graze wound and was treated on the scene. I can also tell you that we were out at the school earlier this evening as worried parents rushed in. Many of them too worried, too scared, too shaken up to talk. They just wanted to lay eyes on their kids and get them home. Parents anxious and upset rushed to Roxborough High. They were met by school security who directed them where to pick up their kids being held safe inside. It seemed like forever just to get here, but I have my grandson and he's okay. Tanya Kusar visibly shaken when she picked up her grandson, Freddie. This was his second game. Can't even think straight now, but I just, I have my grandson and I'm, I'm okay. And all of the kids, their parents came, they have the bus there now, so they treated us very well. I just want to get them home and get them safe and sound. We were there when this school bus arrived to pick up some of the players, presumably to take them back to their school. This used to be a safe haven for our young people. And to see that now that our young people can't even come in a scrimmage game, and be shot is totally unacceptable. Preliminary information from police is that players from Roxborough High, Northeast High, and Boys Latin Charter were at the scrimmage. That was a cowardly act today, to come out and ambush people coming off a ball field. That makes you tough? I think not. And so these guns, the more these kids have guns in their, in, in their hands, the more they're likely to use them. Kusar says school staff did everything right, getting kids safe inside, but that more security should have been present. I want to say that I, I was sad to hear the news, but it's something that's happening all around the city. It's, it's getting out of control, so it wasn't uncommon to get a phone call like that. Just wasn't something that you wanted to hear. And it was said during a news conference earlier today that the principal of that school was crying and just struggling through this process. We simply can't say it enough that this gun violence just affects the entire community. You know, Sheba, these teachers, their principal, the only thing they want is for these kids to get the best education and to get to and from school the safest way possible. Life will never be the same for them, especially for the family who lost their 14-year-old son today. Sean.